what do I do with this? Like, I really hope you guys can pay attention because Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing this blue, incorporated blue eyeshadow look. Um, it's the beginner friendly version of playing with color. Uh, essentially all you have to do is basically do your regular makeup, maybe just amp it up a little bit. But then I just added a little pop of color and I thought it would be cool. So this is the look we are going to be creating today. I have a bunch of products, some of which you guys haven't seen me use, some of which you have. Before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to let you guys know if you haven't noticed on my channel yet, but we are almost to 100,000 subscribers and I am very excited. It's just a number, but for what I've been doing, for how long I've been doing it, I mean, it's definitely taken me some time. It's definitely taken me some time to build this channel, but it's not about how long it takes you, it's about the journey. So um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you are coming across this video, please subscribe. It helps me a ton. Thank you guys for always checking in on the channel, supporting the channel, everything like that. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so what I kind of want to do is something like this with none of like the rhinestones or anything, but just like a little bit of a pop of color right there. So either a blue or green. I feel like the last time I did like an eye makeup look, I did it with green, I think. Um, so we'll just probably do blue today. Okay, so we're gonna use this. I haven't used this in a million years, but um, Urban Decay just started sending me makeup and this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. If you guys remember this from a million years ago, then you're an OG. This product used to be the product that everybody was obsessed with back then. So I'm gonna just use the Mario Mattes. So let's use this shade right here from the Mario Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Start by doing the crease. I'm gonna use this shade right here, right below it. It's a nice chocolate brown. And I think we're just gonna focus this on the outer corner. Next up, I'm going to use some mascara, just so I can, I feel like once I get my mascara on, I can kind of see like my eye shape and everything a little better so I can properly put uh, the wing and the rest of the eyeshadow on. So we're not doing anything crazy with the eyeshadow, I just wanted to do like a nice base and then when I put blush on, I'll go ahead and then add a little bit of the blush to my eyes like I usually do. So, Okay. Now I can see my eye shape better. This is actually a brown shade because I feel like on the daily I usually just use like a brown liner to do like a quick little wing. This is the Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Eyeliner. And it is the easiest like thing to just create a wing because look at, just watch this. You see? I just like do tiny, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's just so easy. And apparently, I was actually watching some videos about the way that they made this eyeliner. And I thought it was so interesting. This brush right here and go in with the dark brown. gonna deepen up that wing a little bit. It's 
So these are the Color Chalks by Milk, and they come in these like little tube canisters. Um, but it's this really pretty like electric blue. The color exactly is, the color is called Yo-Yo. I always like this whenever I do these kinds of whenever I do these kinds of looks because I'm just like not used to it. So I feel like it immediately just Okay, I'm taking the black. Pull this in. Make this darker. There. What are you doing? Sophie? Sophie, what are you doing? <laughs> She's so annoying. Um, today we're gonna use a little bit of foundation. We're gonna use the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation, and I have mine in the shade medium 17. It's so watery, I love it. I'm gonna take a little bit like this, and I'm just gonna stipple it on and buff it in. And I like how it's so thin, this foundation, um, but it's also has like a light oil or something to it. It just goes on perfectly. I truly adore it. And of course, I'm using my favorite foundation brush brush if you guys have not bought this thing yet you are truly unfortunately missing out um i'm pretty sure it's like yeah it's eight dollars and it's dual ended works amazing obviously not sponsored it's just so good and i love it can't live without it have like five of them no joke picking up any excess product we are going to be using my tried and true Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 60. I knew I should have done concealer first because now look, I'm going to have to weasel my way through. Oh my God, it's my... I'm so nervous, like my concealer is gonna be blue now. 100% mess that up, big time. Start to buff this in as well. Taking my sponge and pushing the concealer in, blending it in more. So I've been really into using terracotta tan for Oh my God, what happened to mine? For bronzing my skin. I'm gonna use this and I like to take it directly from, look at this thing, directly from the stick. Just gonna warm up the skin with a Nude Sticks Terracotta Tan. Okay, then for the nose, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Why does it show better on the nose than it does on my own cheekbones and stuff? Like, that's so annoying. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror, which is over here. I have this little mini version of Believe by Rare Beauty. And I've just really been liking this blush, like a lot. So I'm gonna just use it because I think it is a good shade that goes with pretty much all looks. And I'm gonna use this. Um, if you guys follow me on TikTok, you would have seen me use this. Um, I recreated one of Hailey Bieber's like 
get ready with me videos and she used this. So I just recently purchased it. It's brand spanking new, pretty much. Um, I've only used this shade, but I really like that shade. So I'm actually gonna go in with it and just use this on the apples. It's a really pretty berry plum shade. Next up, we're going to set under the eyes. Um, this is when we start using a little bit of powder, so we're gonna go in with some powder blush as well and bronzer as well, but I'm gonna use a little bit of this translucent, translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. This is actually not the translucent one, this one's in Honey. So I'm just gonna use it to set um, in areas where there's a lot of concealer and product. This is the Pillow Talk Intense Cheek to Chic. On a brush like this and put it in the crease as well. Kind of connect it right in here. I'm gonna use Anywhere Caffeine. Then I'm gonna use the shade, it's called Cat Catwalking by Charlotte Tilbury. And last but not least, I'm gonna take brow gel and then just set the eyebrows. Then we need to set the face. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. We made it through. I really wanted to quit. I just, every time I'm like, oh today let's like, I'm inspired, let's do some color. And then I'm like halfway through and I'm like, what the am I thinking? Like literally just, I wanna be done, but anyway gotta finish what you start, okay guys? Like that's that's the moral of the story. But um, I'm not saying this is like my favorite look in the entire world, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there are any videos you'd like me to do in the next couple of weeks, um, please always feel free to leave them in the comments below. I really do take your ideas and your recommendations on videos for me to do to heart because I, I'm very indecisive and I'm better when someone's telling me what to do. So go ahead and leave your uh, requests down below on what videos you'd like to see on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.